I'm recalling that moment. Let's just say it's really an experience over time of being in the place and remembering the light, uh, remembering what the motion was, what was it that attracted me, what was the vibration I felt that I want to hold on to, or that I want to capture when I go right to the canvas. So part of it is an elusiveness. Things are always changing and, and we're changing. So I want to start with washes that are very fluid and very loose and kind of let it flow. And there's a physicality to painting and it comes from the moment of, of being in nature and feeling it, almost inhaling it to when you're transferring that energy to a brush and you're going with that sweep. In the beginning, you don't know where you're headed. That's true whenever you start. So you're starting on a road. And then as you're going, I realized as I was looking everywhere, I was looking for movement. What's moving? And so what are the rhythms there that I can pull from it? So I think I took that kind of as a lens. When I'm out in the elements, there are rhythms, patterns of water and wind and rocks. And sometimes I don't even know what it is, that why I'm connecting to it. But I know along the way there's some correlation there that connects with my soul. And it connects with my inner self. And therefore, when I'm painting directly from life, I'm affected by it to capture that energy. You have the memory of the experience, but as you start to put more brushes on and more washes and you build the painting, the rhythm is actually becoming the rhythm of the painting. It's kind of shifting from the rhythm around us to the rhythm of the lines, the brushes, the strokes into its own language. Current, you have the surface, and then you have deeper levels, and then you have levels that you don't even, even understand. So it felt like there was a lot of depth to the word currents and a lot of movement. And I think, I think there's some kind of a vibration that I connect with and in these movements, in these motion. And I think that paint hopefully captures that movement. Water is so much of the planet. It's mostly what we are made up of. And if we don't, take care of it, if we don't also visually appreciate it and take care of it, then we won't have it. The word current, it's important in a different kind of a level. <laughs>